The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Comfort, come for my people, says your God. Listen, is the voice of someone shouting. Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill in the valleys and level the mountains and hills. Strain the curves and smooth out the rough places. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will We'll see it together. The Lord has spoken. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. He will be very great. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. Mary responded, May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Jesus is born. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. That's because there was no guest room where they could stay. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid, I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, Savior has been born to you. He is Messiah the Lord. Here is how you know I am telling the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, Praise God in heaven and on earth. Let there be peace to the people who praise him. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in the manger. After the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone. They reported what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. She thought about them over and over. The shepherds returned. They gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as they had been told.
Jesus was born in Bethlehem during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as everyone in Jerusalem. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. He told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After this, the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child and his mother, Mary, and the, he bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and more. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. The true light that shines on all people was coming into the world. The Word became flesh and made his home among us. We have seen his glory, glory like that of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.